Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 593, Nasdaq off 227, S&P's off 74, gold contract down $10, trading at 1775 an ounce. You got silver flat, $22.79 an ounce, light sweet crude. Look at this baby getting smoked. Down 362, $66.33 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now trading up 16 ticks. 131.18, the 30 year up a full point plus 20 with three ticks at 163.23 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up, uh, down rather, 354 ticks trading 95.987. The euro is at 113, the yen is at 113.13, and the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We have volatility in spades, folks. The bottom line is that you had the market uh, higher, uh, and then Powell, uh, bottom line, Powell's in front of the Senate out here today. Powell says he's going to drop the transitory word, and uh, the next Fed meeting's in two weeks, and they're basically uh, going to be looking at um, maybe making the buyback of the bonds quicker. Uh, we take a look at this S&P. What you have with the S&P right now is that you're breaking the B point, uh, and you very well probably have an ABC structure on the way down. We'll see whether it's it's going to get the juice. Right now, we're at 93 million shares. You need 112 million for the ABC structure down. I suspect we're going to get it. If that's what we get, your A point on this uh, is 473. Your B point is a 457, 57, 67, 77. So you're talking about 17 points, and that gets you 450. Right now, you're at 456. Now, the thing that gets intriguing is that at 454, you get in the lower range. So as soon as you get in the lower range, what it opens up, folks, it opens up the bottom of the consolidation from October 4th, and then it also opens up the bottom of the consolidation from last July, which is 421. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? We take a look at the NDX 100. You're gonna, uh, the NDX now is still stronger. That being said, bottom line, you're coming down. you got an expansion of volume as you're coming down. The B point on the NDX 100 is 389. You're not going to hit that today. Right now, we're at 393.52. You do have an expansion of volume. Bottom line is that if we had hit the B point today, uh, it would be a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. Right now, we have 63 million shares versus 53. Gold. Gold contract. We had a, a nice number in the gold contract until Powell come on, and then a baby took that thing south in about two seconds. We had a high out here today of 1811. Now you're at 1775. You get 228,000 contracts traded. You are going after that lower swing point. The swing point that we're talking about is from November 3rd. And we'll see how this baby shakes out. When we take a look at it, let's go see what the volume is at November 3rd. Okay, so I'm going to go. Okay, so we change contracts. Okay, so we're going to go back to the GCZ. So when you're close to a contract, folks, okay, and you're doing price and volume in the futures market, as long as you're close enough, you basically you can go right back to that day. So what we're going to do is we're going back. We know it's November 3rd. So I'm going back to the December contract to look at November 3rd. And we were dealing with uh, 257 million, uh, 257,000 shares, contracts. So to remember that number, 257,000 contracts, and then GCG, I think we're, we're 200 and something. We're at 224, 228. Uh, so the bottom line is that when you when you have that type of number, that that's a large number coming into it. That's the, that's the real bottom line. Now, that being said, if we go over and we take a look at the note and bond market, you are going to see, which is still going to keep firepower under the, the metals market in general, is that the note market right now, this went higher again with volume. The note, the ten-year note is on 2.2 million contracts. We got to 132.01. The swing point out here was 131.30. We broke the swing, and we're going to have volume on the breaks. That's saying that these notes and bonds want higher price. If we take a look at the 30-year, the 30 is pretty phenomenal, actually. The 30-year, what you have with this 30-year right now is that. That is not backing off at all. So what that's doing is it's flattening the curve. The 30-year is up one point plus 23 ticks. Now, just to give you an idea, the high in the last six months in the 30-year is only a point and a half away, and we're more than up than a point and a half today. Now, good old King Dollar. This King Dollar um, has been up, down, and all over the place out here today. That being said, it looks to me like King Dollar is going to try to get back inside the lower range. 
We had hit 90, I believe it was 96, 950. Was it 950? Yeah, 96, 938. 97 was the swing. So you back down, can't hold price today. That says that you're going to try to get to the 94, 503 mark. And we'll see whether it wants to break inside its lower range. Some of the higher volume equities out here, what you have out here today, you have uh, Apple is up four bucks. You got uh, Luc uh, Luke, Luke down four dollars. You have Bank of America off a buck. Uber's down at two bucks. You get Nvidia down ten dollars. Twitter's off a buck ninety five. You get Wells Fargo off one thirty nine. Uh, let's go take a look at J.P. Morgan out here because J.P.M., J.P.M. Because what you do have is that as these rates get lower, of course, uh, the banks don't make as much money on the spread. And right now, uh, J.P. Morgan, this is going to be – oh, that's the dollar. Okay, one second. Hold on. J.P.M. There we go. Okay, so J.P. Morgan's down $2.38. And – oh, this is going this is going after a swing low, man. Uh, so this is okay. This can go a lot lower. You get, you get. We have one swing low at 150 or 158. You get an additional one at 145. We get some big action out here, folks. That's the real bottom line. And I suspect what you actually have here, you're gonna have a correction. We're gonna go to. We're gonna flip into a consolidation. This is gonna be cool how this whole thing shakes out. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We'll talk to the markets. Dow Industrials right now are down six down 618 nasdaq's off 240 s&p's off 78 i'll right back